This is a beautiful Limjacho, one of the most beautiful and biggest glacial lakes that I have seen. It is right adjacent to the Island Peak Base Camp. Day 4 has been amazing and adventurous guys. Let's start from the beginning. Saturday 15th of October 6.36 am. We are starting from Pengboche. Early morning the weather stays super clear so you get amazing views of all the peaks. But it is quite cold for sure. Had a good sleep and ready to push again for day 4 here at Everest Base Camp Trek. Some 1.5 kilometers from Pengboche is the next little hamlet of Somare, S O M A R E, at 4040 meters. <laughs> and it is the same with every hamlet that you have good number of accommodation options. You can see that around 4000 meters in October the temperature definitely drops below 0 degrees. You have a thin sheet of ice here. Yeah. Quite a flat walk, nothing much to worry. In the very first hour we have covered some 2.8 kilometers. There are two routes now, one to go to EBC and one to go to Imja Lake. Uh, this is the lake actually, the big lake, close to the Island Peak base camp. So that's where we'll go. So we'll go in the side valley actually and have a beautiful view on the Island Peak. Now these are all the peaks that were uh, visible yesterday from the Amma Dublam base camp. The base camp is, is right there. <sighs> but yeah, much clearer views early morning. Quite a flat trail here. We see the prominence of Taboche Peak. This is a holy peak, not supposed to be climbed. Ah, we still have moon in the sky. You can see the village of Dingboche. Almost uh, at 4200 meters now. Uh, now it took us exactly two hours. 5.6 kilometers from Pengboche to Dingboche. Hiking at a normal pace. I'm not going fast today. Taking it slow, saving up energy for the Kongma La tomorrow. Yeah, so we sort of stick together. Yeah, even at this altitude, you'll get everything from shoes to jackets to groceries and everything. You can see a good number of peaks from Dingboche, Chopolu, Lotse, Island Peak, Imatse. From here onwards, everything will depend upon how well acclimatized you are because now we are almost above 4500 meters that is above 15,000 feet therefore uh, this is where acclimatization will play a pivotal role in your overall experience so if you feel that uh, your your body feels like giving up you have symptoms of acute mountain sickness this is where from where you still have a chance that you can turn back ah my double M looks so different from this side this, this is the peak and we are taking it super slow as we are hiking above 4500 meters now so any hard push to the body can put a lot of load on the heart it's so not recommended Take it slow, find your pace, maintain that rhythm. 
Yeah, if it's your first time in the terrain, be a snail. Don't try to be a ibex. That would really help. Take breaks whenever needed. Sit down, relax, drink water. All good. Water breaks. Taking the slow water break. Four hours, ten minutes. Distance. 11k this is the village and in all the offline navigation apps you'll also see one peak that you can do here which is Chukungri this is the one 5600 meters good elevation gain we found a lodge where mostly all the Nepalese people stay this is the room Whew. So here the price for dal bath is 600 NPR and uh, the stay is actually free. What's up, what's up? It's too good. Yeah. Light, they put slight arish. Time is 11, four and a half hours, 11.5k. 11.15 am. I still feel that I can go to the island peak base camp and come back very soon. But it is going to be a long hike, a gradual one, but a long one. It should be approximately 12k, and therefore, electrolyte is super crucial. Steadfast all the way. Ready to go. These guys stay here, they'll have lunch, and then they'll go to Chukungri. And I wish to go to the base camp. See you in four hours, maybe 11 15 am. This is the this is the island peak. So amazing. So so amazing. So happy to be here. I hope the weather would hold up because it is already 11:30. So clouds can cover the landscape at any point of time. <laughs> You're coming back from no English? Okay, okay, okay. Good. Uh, base camp? Base camp, yes. And back? Yes. Then, okay. Uh, J'ai fait une petite sortie. Exercice acclimatation. Ah, understood. Acclimatization. En bas, j'ai... Ah. Headache. Demain, hey. tomorrow, yeah. tomorrow, camp base. Ah, okay, okay. Take care. Si oh. tout va bien. Si ah. it's good, uh -huh. tomorrow, go base, back. Base camp. All the best. Super. Merci. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Now I left everything at the hotel, at the lodge. Sorry, it's not a hotel. So I'm just carrying the small bag. It just has one power bank, a pair of gloves, a cap, sunglasses if required. So that we go super, super light. Whew. A beautiful day. I can't take my eyes off this this glacier. This is something completely unearthly. Guys, I haven't seen a glacier this beautiful. The trail to the base camp is actually quite gradual. The ascent is gradual. Uh, the base camp is approximately at 5100 meters so i'll touch 5000 meters today for the very first time on this trail but in order to do all this i guess uh, your body has to be acclimatized to a great great extent now guys these are the peaks actually island peak then uh, this would be cho fulu this would be numri and this would be kali himal for a beautiful set of peaks on the Island Peak Base Camp uh, Trail. You can now see the full prominence of Island Peak from the base and also from the shoulder. Quite an amazing definite path actually. So, nothing much to worry. Getting closer. 
Uh, you cannot see the base camp in the <coughs> wide angle but I can see it through my eyes 12.50 I think we'll reach there by 1.30 max so, 1.12 pm that is 2 hours 18 kilometers from Pengboche the Island Peak base camp 50 100 meters good number of tents here Five thousand one hundred fifty meters, I guess. Climbing on the side of Iron Peak Base Camp. Hope to see a big glacial lake. Here it is. I give you the big and beautiful Imjatso. Oh man, what a beauty! And uh, this is the Highland Peak Base Camp. This is the Island Peak itself. <sighs> Amazing. <sighs> Couldn't have asked for more. <sighs> Day four at the Everest Base Camp trek. <sighs> this is another side trails. Coming all the way to the Island Peak Base Camp and witnessing this beautiful Imjatso Lake. One of the most beautiful and biggest glacial lakes that I've ever seen. You can see floating frozen ice in there. Oh, amazing. The whole area is landslide prone, so you have to be like super, you have to be super, super careful. But yeah, I think this is the whole extent of the lake. I can see the other end the moraine big 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 one okay 1 30 pm time to head back to chukung and it's going to be super windy as we'll be hiking on the opposite direction one more quick visit to the base camp Beautiful camps all around, yellow tents. It definitely is exciting, I guess. Lots say 8500, but still no clouds. So, this day has been relatively very much clearer in terms of weather. And people who would have had their summit day today would have got some amazing views and they could have spent more time on the summit. Yeah. So weather will always, always play a crucial role in your hikes. Back at Chukung, 2.58 pm, 25k, 8.5 hours since morning. Now I also thought that uh, I'll go to Chukungri, it would be a nice uh, hike. But now if I look at the weather, see the big uh, 8000 are covered in clouds. And similarly now Amadablam is gone, hidden behind the clouds at exactly at 3 pm. So then uh, I don't want to hike up all the way uh, when I know that there will not be many views to witness. The other three individuals uh, are still hiking I guess. Uh, hope to see them soon. So these guys did uh, Chikungri today. How was it? Mm -hmm. It was like I went when I was Ascending the peak, the last section of 200 meters. It, and there was no properly marked trail, and we had to like cross over the bold section by ourselves. 
and was very steep and only thought that came to my mind not not only thought two thoughts that beta chad to gaya utrega utrega kaise the second one ki bhaiya 100 200 extra le lo niche utar do was the top uh, at around uh, 5549 meters i guess and again it was out of the world experience uh, looking at whole valley both mm. sides of the valleys from the top you know i forget your first peak so that's there is the allen peak This is Mount Amandablam. The whole valley has been covered in clouds right now. You climbed up to Chukungri, which is around 3,500 meters. Sorry, 5,500 meters. Here you can also see the Imatse Lake. That's the Lotse Glacier, this whole glacier, and down below you can see Lotse Nup Glacier that is based on the Lotse Nup Peak. And if you we'll look at this, this is Lotse, this peak. This is Lotse No. That's Lotse Middle One. this black peak the rocky mountain that is the peak of chukungri and that peak the black one is chukungse and here covered with clouds is pomori mount pomori this is the kongmala pass which we are going to cross tomorrow when we are going to move from chukung to lobuche via this kongmala pass and again here the almighty and the holy peak mount tobuche which people don't climb this is the sunset views the sky is absolutely pink and violet i don't know if the camera the camera is able to capture it and on the other side it feels like yeah enter the heaven tomorrow we do the first pass first pass yes we will do the kongmala now would you kongmala kongmala i would still be lower than the peak <laughs> to 400 meters so we are very much confident that we are going to do it in strong shape but let's see tomorrow and let's hope for the best i think the learning for me since the last one or two days was in terms of finding accommodation at all these places is that find a place where the nepalese people or the porters and the guides would actually go and stay so you will have a very you know minimalist sort of a makeshift uh, accommodation it will still be pretty warm Yeah. So congratulations proud of you <sighs> you should be <laughs> congratulations oh first pass welcome to kong what's oh, fun sir <laughs> welcome to kong mala nice and peaceful sassy come on yeah. finally done no 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 Yeah, I see it now. Yeah.